and B start feeling comfortable, and we don't want a guy like that to feel comfortable. Turnovers and miscommunications cost us the game. That is how Jalen Brown described the Sixers squeezing by with a 108 to 103 victory. Now the frustrating part is the Celtics had an opportunity to close it out down the stretch, but Philly took advantage as they proved to be the more physical team and were also accompanied by Joel Embiid, who finished with a game high 40 points. We started out with the with the game plan that we wanted to, you know, guard him one on one with heavy digs, and he he just took advantage of. Those matchups, we didn't do, a, a, I guess, a good enough job of, of helping in this and helping our bigs down there um, and be start feeling comfortable. And we don't want a guy like that to feel comfortable. Our rotations were kind of slow behind that. We were pretty much going to take the ball out of his hands. No, had caused a few turnovers prior plays. And the one that really stands out and hurts is the Danny Green three up top. Um, you know, we got it out of his hands and this the rotation wasn't as sharp as it needed to be behind it, especially on some of the shooters. Tonight's unfortunate that we couldn't pull it out. Um, I feel like that's a game we should have definitely had, but you know, we just got to figure out how to get wins at the end like this. Now the Celtics have one game left in their five game homestand and they'll look to get back on track when they host the Cleveland Cavaliers on Wednesday night.